Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the uh, 1B and the 6B programs because those are the YAC programs. So let's see what is in 1A and what is in uh, sorry what is in 1B and what is in 6B. Okay. So 1B is write, write a YAC program to evaluate arithmetic expression involving operators plus minus into and divide. Okay. So to evaluate an arithmetic expression means if we uh, type the input as 1 plus 2 minus 3 it should give me 0. Right. That's what the evaluation of arithmetic expression is, and let's discuss that first. Then we'll move on to the next one. Okay. So in one A, what we have is the uh, sorry in one B, what we have is one B dot L, one B dot I. These two files will write, and then we'll execute as normal. Okay. So let's see the code part, and in the code part, what we have is in one um, B dot L. So here this is the declaration part, and this is the logic part. Okay. In the declaration part, it's very easy. Today dot head y dot type dot head since we are uh, including it with uh, yak program so we have to add this one and uh, one extra thing which you need to remember is yyl val in one b two things you need to remember okay yyl dot val and return num return zero yyl val and return num return zero if you remember this one b uh, dot l is very easy for you okay so have to remember uh, yyl val and return num return zero then what you uh, do is you come uh, directly to here it, uh, write it as return num here and then write it as return 0 that's all what you have to write return num return 0 now what will we have since we are identifying an arithmetic expression what all it can have it can have the numbers it can have the plus minus divide into and can have the brackets as well okay these are the four things which it can have and uh, the default thing which is slash in that also it will have okay so for the first one and the last one we will write return num and return 0 and you will be converting the character to integer a to i means ascii to uh, integer which is nothing but the character to integer y by text okay write a y by text that is getting converted to integer that is getting stored in y by l val okay and returning the num if you have any number if you have any operator return y by text of 0 same thing you are writing here again return y by text of 0 return y by text of 0 return y by text of 0 for the operators for the uh, opening braces and the closing braces okay for all these things except the uh, numbers, you'll write return y by text of 0. For the number, you'll write return number. For the remaining thing, return 0, which is slash. Okay, this is how you write the 1b dot l. Simple, right? The next one is 1b dot y. <coughs> Let's break down this program into a smaller part. Okay. See here, this is the declaration part. The declaration part is still here. This is the whole declaration part. Declaration part, what we have, starting from here till here, the header files are included. I have included stdio, I have included stdlib. Okay. Here is the token, the number is the token and these are the operators left plus minus and left star into and star and divide okay. So these are the operators and uh, these are the header files which have declared in the uh, declaration part okay. So this is the declaration part. Then we have the rule part. This is the rule part or the logic part. Let's see what is in the rule part or logic part. Before that let's see what is after that. After that we have just uh, three functions int y by error, int y by wrap and here we have void main. Void main very easy, enter expression y by parse. Since we are using the react program, write y by parse here. Void main is done, except that we have to int y by error and int y, uh, y by wrap. So the bottom part and top part is in, let's discuss the rule part now. Very simple, e expression. Expression is getting considered here. Now I will come to this later. Expression, what all it can have? Either it can have expression plus expression, this is the exponent, plus uh, exponent, so it will be. Um, dollar one plus dollar three this is the argument list okay means the first argument or third argument that you can bring okay dollar one plus dollar three if it is minus dollar one minus dollar three if it's into it is dollar one into dollar three if it is divide then it will be dollar one divided by dollar three okay see this instead of writing this much in the um the flower braces we'll be writing this part here okay till here we'll be writing so what's happening here is if it is zero dollar three is the second argument if it's zero at that time it should print it is uh, not able to divide by 0, it's error, exit 0. If it's not the case, just as this one, we'll write here instead of this one, we'll write divide and we'll write this statement here. That's all the if else part is okay. So, what all we did come to, come to the rule part, e expression, come to this part later. Here, expression can be either plus, minus, into, or divide, or it can be just a uh, number between the braces. So, if it's a number between the braces, what we have to do is the exponent is in between this is 1, this is 2, this is 3. So the second one should be uh, returned because that's the number which, uh, which, uh, which you are returning. So we are returning dollar two. Else, if it's number, return dollar one because if it's just one, one will come in this place. So it's dollar one, just one will be returned. Means the first uh, argument, what is there, that will be returned. Okay. So this is the uh, rule part. And coming back to here, printf percentage d. What you are printing? Dollar uh, dollar dollar. 
वॉट एवर आंसर वी गेट हियर और हियर और हियर और हियर और हियर एंड हियर वेर एवर वी गेट द आंसर दैट विल बी स्टोरिंग हियर एंड दैट विल बी प्रिंटिंग इट देन एक्ट जीरो Okay, that's all. What is there in the one uh, b dot y? Let's come to the six program, which is six b dot uh, so six b. In six b, what we have write a acronym to recognize valid identifier, operators, and keyword. Three things: identifier means one, two, three, four. Operators is the uh, plus minus and all. Keywords is printf, scanf, those things. Three things you have to identify: identifier, operator, and keywords. Let's see the um, implementation part. So here, what we have to do is. As usual, 6b is since it's Yak program, 6b dot n, 6b dot y execute as uh, normal. But including the uh, means uh, along with this one, you have to write in dot text. What will be in in dot text is the uh, program, C program which has the uh, identifiers, keywords, and so on. Because you have to identify that, right? While your entire operators and keywords, so we'll have a C program where these things are available. Okay. So that's the uh, um, basic explanation. Let's see the code part of it. So here's the code part 6b.l and this is the 6b.y. Let's break it uh, down in smaller parts and understand what's happening. As I told you, we have to identify three things: key files, operators, and keywords. So what are the operators? See, this is the initial declaration part. As previous one, since you are using the uh, Yak program, so include y uh, y dot tab dot h and extend y y l value as uh, I start earlier. Okay, that's the declaration part. Coming to the logic part, here what we have is See, whenever you have used the um, program with the Yak program, the next part of the program will have this this one declaration and the logic part. Okay. So here these are the operators. So printf is an operator, return operator. This is the keyword. So printf is the keyword, return keyword. This is the uh, identifier. So it's an identifier, return identifier. That's all what is there in the 6b dot l declaration part. Should it dot h y uh, y tab dot uh, tab dot h extend y y l value is an extra term in the rules part. Identifier operator, identifier uh, keyword, identifier uh, identifier. Okay, so this is all. And here we have dot and semicolon. Dot means except all of these, we just have to not do anything. Return as follows. Okay. So write this one uh, two or three times, then you'll get to know in the mind, and uh, you'll remember. I mean, if you write two, uh, two or three times, this will be remembered in your mind. Okay. Next one, uh, this six b dot uh, uh, y. Here what we have is the if you break down this program. Here we have the declaration part, and the rule part is from here till here, and this is the main part. Okay, main function. So let's see in the declaration part what is there. Since you are counting the number of identifiers, keywords, and operators, so each count will be zero. Stdio, std dot, uh, std dot list. Easy. As in the previous one also, we did the same thing. Then we have a token for ID, key, and operator. Since you are doing for the uh, three uh, things here, we will be declaring three tokens here. Next, what we have is the, the rules part. Before the rules part, let's see what is in the main part. External file y y in. Since you are taking an external file and doing the operation, you have to include this line of code. In the main function, the main function stands from here till here. Here, what we have, we are creating a file uh, pointer which is in dot text. As I told you, in dot text will be storing the program where we will have the printed scanf statements and all. And here we will be uh, using this um, pointer to access that file. And uh, y y in my file. So all the inputs will come in y y in. Since it's a Yak program, right? Y y part instead of y y leg. And here we have printer keywords is this much, operator uh, identifier is this much, and operator is this much. Okay. Key ID and op. That's all in the main program. And here we have y y as the previous one, and y y wrap as the previous one. So at the bottom and the top part is done. In the middle part, it's very simple. Input if it's id id plus plus e e plus plus op op plus plus. Again, do the same thing. Id, id plus plus, e, e plus plus, op, op plus plus. Just the difference is remove the input from middle. Okay. So that's all what is there in the uh, B and the uh, um, one B program. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next.